In U.S. men's and women's chess championships and tournaments recently held, and Grandmaster Maurice Ashley, the first African-American inductee into the U.S. Chess Hall of Fame, joining us now from St. Louis to talk more about the parallels between chess strategy and life skills for Americans of all ages. You know, we hear there's a renaissance of chess going on in America. Good morning, Maurice. Good morning. Great to have you here. Can you talk for a second? I mean, look, as a, as a boy, I played a good bit of chess with my dad, and then a, it kind of seemed like it maybe took a little bit of a, you know, faded a little bit there for a while, but now we're seeing a renaissance. Is that right? Absolutely. Chess is just booming now in the United States. You see, with the Singfield effect, uh, the philanthropist Rex and Dr. Jeannie Singfield, who've supported chess here in St. Louis and has brought these amazing chess tournaments in the last 10 years that have just simply caught America by storm. You see the top chess players playing, Magnus Carlsen, the world champion, and very excitingly for all the chess fans here in the U.S. is Fabiano Caruana, born in Miami, raised in Brooklyn, New York, now challenging Magnus Carlsen for the world title in November. And that has got all the chess fans in the U.S. dancing in the streets. It's not been seen since Bobby Fischer in 1972 won his match against the Soviet Boris Basky. So we're really excited to see what this effect will have for chess in the United States. Ah, I mean, look, we talked about some of the, t the top, top players there. So much going on in the world of chess. What is it, just for a second, what is it about the game? What is it that, that always captured you? Chess is just a magical game. It's been around for over 1,500 years. And when you look at the chessboard, it's got all these great pieces, bishops and knights and kings and queens and rooks and pawns, and they do different things. So the, the allure of the game is always that, the mystery of what do these pieces do? What can I do to do something great in the game and then to beat my opponent? Because, you know, I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a competitive guy. And <laughs> growing up, I wanted to beat my friends. And so in high school, I played all the time. Then I went to the parks in Brooklyn and played, and finally to the clubs in Manhattan and to play against the international players. So to one day actually become a grandmaster myself is just a boyhood dream. Yeah, I mean, you're there at the World Chess Hall of Fame. We hear there's new inductees, and we also hear about a record-setting chess piece. Tell us about that. The Giant King in front of the World Chess Hall of Fame, it is 20 feet high, smashing the old record of 16 <laughs> feet uh, that was in Belgium. And it's just a beautiful piece. It's made out of African sapili mahogany, and it weighs over 10,000 pounds. So you can't miss it when you walk uh, across the Central West End where the chess club is located, as well as the World Chess Hall of Fame. And when you come into the World Chess Hall of Fame, there's these great exhibits. Beautiful chess sets, classical sets from the Staunton design from the 1830s, but also more contemporary sets, the Perling chess sets, just beautiful, uh, absolute craftsmanship by these great artists, and just a, a, an eye-popping display, really, and quite a bit of fun when you come in for the chess fans who love history, and even for the art lovers who want to see these kind of amazing designs. Well, there is a lot of amazing things. Last thought here, why is chess so important to our communities, and how can we find out more information? Well, chess is one of those great games that transforms lives. And it's an activity that kids pick up, adults pick up, it crosses generations. We see here the U.S. Chess Championships, all these great players who are older, but also the young ones, the 15-year-olds. <laughs> the A. Wander Liang, who's 15. Annie Wang, 15 years old, playing in your country's national championship. That's pretty amazing. You can find out much more about this at uschesschamps.com and also at worldchesshof.org. That's World Chess Hall of Fame worldchesshof.org, a we, real boom renaissance happening in the United States. I'm telling you, I love it. It's the strategy. It's all about the strategy. Maddening, so many moves ahead. Maurice, Ashley, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thanks for having me. And we will be back with our next big chess move here on Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>